Hi there and welcome to this lesson. In this video, we will be showing you how to set up your Apple developer account so that you can get your API keys which you will need for the plugin. So let's jump right in. So first of all, you need to create an Apple developer account. And to do that, you can go to this page using this link and you can follow the instructions there. But we have already created an Apple developer account. So in this video, we'll be showing you how to get the API keys for the plugin. So in order to get the plugin to work, we need to create identifiers such as an app ID, a service ID, as well as a key. And we're going to do that within this account dashboard. So once you're logged in, you can go to identifiers by either clicking on this box here, or you can click on this tab on the left. And then once you're here, you can go to identifiers, and then add a new identifier by clicking on this blue plus button. And then ensure that app IDs is selected, then click on continue. And then we can leave app selected, then click on continue again. And then here we need to register an app ID. So for the description, you can write in anything you want, but it's best that it's more descriptive but I'll just insert ZQ Lab. And then for the bundle ID, we are shown that it's recommended to use a reverse domain style. So that basically means if your app domain is demo.app, then a reverse domain would be app.demo. So the domain of my bubble app is my zero code demo app dot bubble apps dot IO. But since we have to enter a reverse style domain, I have placed the IO in the beginning. And then you want to scroll down in order to enable the option to sign in with Apple, which is this option here. So you can click this checkbox and then you can click continue. And then you'll realize that we are given the app ID prefix. So this is actually the team ID. So you want to copy and paste this somewhere safe because we're going to later use it within the bubble app. And then to confirm our settings, you can click on register. So now we want to get the service ID. So in order to do that, we need to create another identifier. So you can do that by clicking the blue button again, and then select on service IDs, and then select continue. And then we want to enter the description. So I'll just say zero code lab. And then you need to enter the identifier. Again, it's recommended to use a reverse domain style. So for this example, I'll just simply say app.zqdemo.client. But you can insert whatever you wish to use. So you want to copy and paste the identifier that we just created in a safe place because we will use it in our bubble app since it's actually our service ID. And then next you can click on continue. So now you can click on the service ID that we just created. And then you want to enable the option to sign in with Apple by clicking on this checkbox and then click on configure. And then here, just ensure that you select the correct primary app ID. So in our case, it's ZQ lab. And then we are asked to register website URLs. So this box is for domains and subdomains. And this box here is for return URLs. So here I have entered my app domain and notice that I did not include the HTTPS protocol. And I have now entered the return URLs. And do note that all return URLs must be registered with the HTTPS protocol included in the URI string. So that's why for the return URLs, I have included the HTTPS protocol. And the documentation has more information regarding the return URLs. Here, we are shown that we need to insert three URLs separated by a comma from the back end with initialize and without initialize. And we're also given examples. So you can visit the documentation for more information about this. So we can go ahead and click next. And then we can click down to confirm our configuration settings. And then after that, we can click on continue. And lastly, we can save our settings by clicking on save. 
So in order to create a key ID, we can go to keys. And then we can add a new key by clicking on this blue plus button. And then you can give your key a name. So for this example, I'll just say my ZQ lab key. And then you want to scroll down to enable the option to sign in with Apple and then click configure. And then here we can select the primary app ID. So in our case, it would be ZQ lab and then click on save. And then lastly, click on continue. And then finally, we can click on register. So here we are told that we need to download our key. And this is because it cannot be re-downloaded as the server copy is removed. So it's important to download the key because we're going to later use it within the app configuration. Then you'll notice that we're also given the key ID. So you want to copy and paste that somewhere safe because we're going to use it within the plugin settings. So I'll go ahead and click download. And then I'll copy and paste that somewhere safe. And lastly, we can click on done. And just like that, we have created all the keys that we need for the plugin. We've now reached the end of this lesson. And in the next one, we'll see how to configure the Apple sign-in plugin using the API keys that we just received from the Apple developer account. So I'll see you in the next one.